Hi Aries, welcome to your reading for November 2022. Um, so interesting, I went to do your reading last night and accidentally did Pisces again. It was the second one, so some of you may have like, you may be on the cusp of Pisces, may um, be tied to Pisces in some way, um, but I feel like I had to mention that. Also, I feel like, okay, that means that I was meant to do your reading today. Today is um, Halloween. <laughs> um, but anyways, this is going to be for Aries, Sun, Moon, or Rising. Uh, many of you are intuitively guided to readings now. You're paying attention to your intuition, and I want to thank you. I feel like your spirit guides want to thank you. Um, I, whatever brought you, welcome. We're going to go ahead and get into your reading, guys. We're going to use four different decks. Um, we're going to use our Mother Mary Oracle for our words of wisdom. This is a deck that, you know, if you haven't heard the story yet, um, it was Ten of Wands, working too hard and too many hours, the need for balance in life, let others help you health problems due to stress okay maybe we're meant to see that um anyways i was just looking for something on my white cabinet over there and a bookcase and um this deck was just sitting there and no you know no box no um book with it just sitting there and i'm like well that's weird i don't remember i don't remember this deck i don't remember buying this deck um you know, I probably did, but I don't remember that. And just where it was sitting at, like, because I'm in my cabinet or my bookcase all the time. And just that I saw them and they were sitting like, I don't know, like I was meant to see them. So what I'm doing is I am bringing them in, um, but I'm bringing them in just for, you know, to compliment Mother Mary. Uh, they're not, you know, like. We'll, we'll let one or two cards come out um, I just find it very interesting we will use the Gilded Tarot to clarify or to go a level deeper and for your main spread I'm going to use the Light Sears Tarot okay let's go ahead and begin your reading though I mean your reading begins the minute I hit start um, and I'm saying that because I feel like I feel like you get messages, like messages continue to come through right from the get-go. Okay. Everything's pre-shuffled. Okay. Okay, that didn't take long. We have health. Health. Hmm. You know, with that Ten of Wands we saw earlier, and then health. Um, for some of you, you know, it's probably stress-related. I'm sure there could be other things too, but, you know, I feel like we have to pay attention to that. Like, it could be something as stress-related. Um, you know, I think of, like, the Nine of Swords, which is, like, you know, um, a lot of worry, a lot of um, feeling like doom, and then that energy you know starts in the like in our thought system but that, that energy has to show itself some somehow through the body if we're not releasing it and i feel many times it's through our health okay my prayers for healing miracles have been heard and answered wow my prayers for healing miracles have been heard and answered okay all right, let's bring in this deck again. I have no name. Maybe someone out there recognizes it. Let's give it a cut. they feel really heavy oh. 
What's this? Ten of Cups. Interesting. Okay, I feel like that's our card. We'll give it a shuffle though to see if anything else wants to come out. I'll go three times around. Two. Three. All right. Well, Ten of Cups. Let's read what it says, because this is where I'm finding um, this energy to be quite profound is through the words. All right. A happy marriage. Happily ever after. An emotional commitment. A loving relationship with your children. Raising children wisely and successfully. People you can trust. Like there's that rainbow. There's a rainbow with all the cups. All right. Let's go ahead and bring in the tarot portion. Even though that deck is a tarot deck, this deck, the other one's an oracle deck, Mother Mary. I don't know why. I feel like I want to give him a really good shuffle. Well, I don't like that, but we're putting it back in. We have five of cups and two of swords. You know, interesting. I feel like very quickly this is about someone who's trying to make a decision about someone of their past. And it may be whether to reach out, to communicate, um, or in the same breath you could be blocking it, right? You could be blocking it. This could be where I'm lost in the sorrow of it. Um, but yet, you know, we have to say within the five cups, because five is about change, there's two cups that sit behind this person. But what's beside it, the two of swords, she's got a blindfold on. She can't see him. She's got to be able to feel him. Trusting your intuition. You know, um, making a change in the where my focus is, right? Listen, maybe maybe I have lost a lot, but that doesn't mean there's nothing left to be gained. And I feel like that's the answer, that's the question. You know, yes, I've lost a lot, but there's still something out there to be gained. Okay, I feel like the blindfold has gotta come off. All right, let's give him a cut. Shout out to my friend who's on the 22nd of March. Um, okay, we're gonna read off top the deck and um, listen, it's just a way intuitively I've been feeling it lately. Like this is the way I meant to do it. We'll shuffle within the Gilded Chirau, but let's go ahead and begin. We have the Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. You know, if you just look at this queen, she's very connected to above, as above, so below. You know, heaven on earth. We do have the Ten of Cups. This could, um, listen, it doesn't even matter your sign. It doesn't even matter if you're a water sign or not. I feel like it's the energy of this queen, and this queen is connecting. It's like she's connecting to above, and therefore she's creating below. <coughs> Excuse me. We have the hermit. Wow. I feel like this is someone who's been on a spiritual journey. It's funny because I'm noticing the key around her neck. You know, that key unlocks the next door, whatever that may be. The hermit, listen, if nothing else, the hermit has had a good reflection upon the past and an understanding, 
right? The hermit. I feel like, you know, sometimes, like, uh, I don't know. Sometimes we have to drop to our knees before we start seeking the light, the truth. You know, what's the truth? The truth is that your energy and your intention are like nine-tenths of the law in creating your world, right? Because it's from your present moment decisions and actions that can pretty much predict your future. I feel like that's what the hermit realizes. You know, maybe I was seeking the light outside of myself and all along I figured out I am the light. Also Carter Virgo, by the way. Let's see what the hermit's illuminating. Well, come on. Two of Cups. Soulmate. Hmm. I like how their hands are intertwined. Their fingers are intertwined. Connected, right? Connected. Interesting, because I feel like this queen definitely feels connected to, well, probably this soulmate's energy. And the hermit, I feel like, you know, I'm seeking spiritual um, guidance, but in this physical world, right? I may be seeking from above, but it's to help me in this physical world. <coughs> Excuse me. Two cups, soulmate. The hermit's illuminating it. You know, I asked. I wonder what the hermit's illuminating. Okay. We have the Eight of Pentacles. Hmm. You know, first of all, I feel like this could be great energy for collaborating with someone. You know, like the perfect partner to help you build something, to help you create something. In the Eight of Pentacles, it's about, you know, it is like you're putting your head down and you're getting to work. Eight of Pentacles is about, you know, sometimes I don't know everything about everything, but in this type of energy, because I feel like I'm drawn to this energy, um, I learn very quickly, and maybe I learn as I go. This talks about what you focus on will grow. Right next is two of cups it's interesting she's looking right at that two of cups eight is about a new beginning okay well i like what i see so far here all right let's keep going wow with the eight of wands first of all two eights back to back 88 um this is fast moving energy you know, and to me, this is also what I think about, I bring about, because I see this as like four of the wands are my intention going out into the universe, and four of the wands returning are of that vibration. I just kind of got to let go of exactly how it must look like, just know that it's coming back in its, in its best possible way, right? If I'm putting that energy out there, that's what the universe is going to match back. Now listen. It may take time. Anyway, fast moving energy coming into this queen. You know, I feel like what's ever happening here, I feel like this queen will intuitively just know. Um, you know, just kind of knows the right timing. Okay, let's keep going. We have the Six of Wands. This is the energy of victory. You know, it's interesting because this can also be the energy, you know, um, it's funny, who's reading? I think it was Pisces where I named, or I called it, um, where I felt one person was putting him on a pedestal and another person had knocked him off a pedestal many, many times. And I'm saying that because this is the energy I'm feeling of like, you know, I feel like your wisdom your wisdom is being 
seeked out. Interesting, I feel like first you seeked that wisdom, now you have that wisdom, and now I feel like others seek that wisdom you have. You know, I feel like the hermit is like just like a natural teacher, a natural speaker. Um, you know, I think of, oh my God, I can never think of that guy's name. It's like a, a guru. Um, but his answers are based like, you know, in real, like, you know, you've got to see what's real. Anyway. Anyway, let's keep going. Wow, we have judgment coming under this two of cups. Okay, so first of all, judgment is a call. It's your spiritual team calling you to the present moment. There's a reason why you're being called to the present moment. Interesting how I felt like this queen was connecting, and now judgment is like her spiritual body connecting to this two of cups. Well, that would make sense, right? Because they are soulmates. I mean, spiritually, they will always be together, right? They'll always be part of each other's life. In you know, I shouldn't even say life, beyond life. Anyway. Interesting because, you know, um, through your own journey, like, this could be you where you're now doing something where, like, I don't know, I'm just going to say master teacher. But I, I, I'm using that in a very general way because I feel like it could mean a thousand different things. But nonetheless, I feel like, um, I feel like you have gained a lot of wisdom and, um, and I feel like in some way you're putting it to work for you. And I feel like that's giving you a platform. And maybe while you're on this platform, somebody sees you, connects to you, understands you, gets you. We have the death card, card of Scorpio, card of endings. But it's really about rebirths. And it's interesting because you have two cards here that talk about, well, one is about the present moment, but it's so that there can be a rebirth in your life. And it's showing us exactly what it is. Listen, I feel like it's a little bit of each. Like, I feel like this is you, like, now on the platform, like your platform and other people looking to you. Um, whether you, you know, whether that was your plan or not, it's like... Which is where I ended up. Um, and then, you know, death card, same thing. It's a death and then rebirth. Closing of one door. So that the next chapter can begin. You know, and the hermit really is the final reflection back. Like, I'm going to look back. I'm going to reflect upon it. I'm going to understand it. I'm going to understand it from all angles, especially with my spiritual lens, you know, and um, who better to help us? Who better to help us? Okay, what's on the bottom of the deck? We have the Four of Pentacles. Well, this is talk about you building your foundation. Like you're really building your foundation. Um, you know, I like the four with the two. The page of cups underneath that. So you're getting um, you're getting some water energy. Right, because you have Scorpio, you have the Two of Cups, you have the Queen of Cups. Yet, as I say that, I feel like any like emotional hmm, chapters that start to open up, I feel like you're just so totally ready for them. I just feel like you're just ready for them. And when I say you're ready for them, I just feel like 
not even about what snacks is about you know like you're just <clears throat> i don't know like i feel like you know like you're i'm saying to myself you know bring it on bring it on whatever may happen i know that you know i have it's more than just me right it's my spiritual self it's my spiritual team you know they're showing here for you today they're showing the two of cups connected to that you know some of you may have a um one of your spirit guides may have been a soulmate not have been but is a soulmate and um you know because remember we have more than one soulmate in this lifetime and different soulmates come in for different reasons okay but let's look all right let's bring the gilded churro in and let's start at the beginning no better place than the beginning We have the Six of Swords. We have the King of Wands. That can be you. Aries, Leo, um, Aries, yeah, Leo, Sagittarius. Coming over the Hermit. Interesting because I almost feel like this person here is leaving you know, is closing their chapter, and th and their chapter had been a difficult chapter um, because you know I'm leaving it in the in the boat of the Six of Swords, which means that you know there's been toxic energy around me, and um, again though she's been she feels so connected that I almost don't I don't know I don't worry about her. Look at this, another King, King of Cups. I mean, the King of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Well, we do have a Virgo out here. Two Kings, King of Wands, King of Pentacles. And then look at this, Judgment again. Judgment coming over this eight, this new beginning, where you put your focus. She's looking right at that Two of Cups. She's looking right at it. And so is the Hermit, by the way. The queen's not. The queen's connecting to above. And interesting, both these kings are looking right at me. Like, okay, here we are. Here I am. And then I feel like this queen is on this boat. And she's on her way. Or he. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting that judgment comes out again. Some of you, this King of Pentacles may even give you, um, what do I want to say, may even give you more verification that, um, you know, you may have someone who um, was an earth sign that has crossed over and, um, or someone who, you know, well, I think you would know by now. Um, judgment wants to let you, wants you to allow yourself to have a new beginning. You know, I feel like it's time. It's time. Because we go right below the death card, right? Boom, I'm closing a door. But that's so that the rebirth, whatever these eights are asking, these new beginnings, so that they can come in. And it feels like divine timing, right? With judgment twice, like, I need you in the present moment. Things are moving fast. Faster than you expected. Even if you never, you don't expect anything. Something is still moving quickly. Okay, let's keep going. We'll come back and clarify those kings if we need to. We have the four of swords. Four swords. Two fours, two eights. 
two fours, two eights. Four and four is eight. <laughs> Cause you didn't know that. Four of swords, you know, four of swords is, first of all, it's like a time out, right? It's a healing time. Listen, some of you may have been kind of like isolating in the house and there's nothing wrong with that. Maybe you've been creating out of the house and um, at the same time, allowing yourself to heal. You know, I definitely feel like some of you have gone through some really deep reflections and those deep reflections, because don't forget, you know, don't forget about, we don't want to hang on to stuff because it's going to come out in through our body in some way. So the four of swords is allowing that healing. You know, that's what it said. You know, healing prayers are being answered. Four swords, I'm accepting that healing. There's also one sword that I'm lying upon. That's my own. That's my own. That's my own truth. My own, like, looking at myself. Um, and I'm not judging myself. I'm just looking at myself from all angles. I need to know me. Anyway, I feel like that period is coming to an end. <laughs> well, hello, star. This is about your hopes, your dreams, your wishes. I mean, I feel like if some of you, like your dream is to be, is to have a certain platform, so be it. So be it. So be it. And, you know, to reach that platform, it's not like a miracle. A matter of fact, it may feel like quite the opposite. It may feel like I had to walk through hell. But now that I have... Now that I have, I can teach you. I can teach you. So I feel like you're receiving some type of platform. And again, it may not even be something you were looking for. It may, it may be like happenstance. Anyways, your hopes, your dreams, your wishes. This is about bringing them to fruition. This is like the universe saying, we'll do our part, you do your part. We have the Knight of Wands. Dun, 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 dun. Fast moving energy again. Almost chaotic. Almost to the point where it can feel a little chaotic. Even if it's what I kind of wanted. What I had wished for. Again, fast moving energy through that Eight of Wands. And this Knight of Wands can be so fast, it can feel chaotic. It can, it can spin you around. Okay. Well, why not another king? Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, coming over the death card. Some of you, I have to say, I feel like there's a tie between what you do, let's just say in your creative world, you can include your finances and all that through that. Um, I feel like there is a tie between what you do and someone else. Now, I feel like there's also an opportunity to um, collaborate. And um, does it turn into love? Well, it just might. You know what I mean? Um, and for others, you know, look at all these kings. Let's, let's look at, well, I'm just going to ask the question. What are all these kings for? Well, justice, one I may be divorcing. One I may be cutting ties with. Or maybe the queen way back in the beginning, she's the one who's cutting ties. Because don't forget, I feel like, I feel like it, she's coming in and I feel like she's coming in with free and clear energy because I feel like she's coming in through the six of swords so I'm leaving you know I made the changes that the five asked me to and I'm leaving that toxicity behind and I feel like the healing also so justice one of these kings I may be cutting ties 
and then we have the five of pentacles or you know maybe one came to an end and in the five of pentacles it can feel very difficult you know in the five of pentacles again it is change but a lot of times in the five of pentacles it's kind of outside of my control nonetheless you do get through And I feel like that's exactly what the Six of Swords is. Like like someone cutting ties with someone. Someone who, you know, just wasn't right any longer. Let's just put it that way. For whatever the reason. I don't even know that we need to go in it. But I feel like, you know, and and it hasn't been easy. Um, even if, even if, <clears throat> even if I know it's for the best, it doesn't mean that it's easy, right? And the Six of Swords would say that. Like, there are some choppy waters you got to go through, but you can get through it. You can get through it. Because remember, this is what was. All right. And I have the moon. Well, that kind of, for some of you, ties Pisces into the reading. And I kind of felt that right from the get-go. Um, also, the ruler of Cancer. And then we have the Hierophant, Cartitaurus. Hmm. I feel like as I read just right across this line... I feel like I've been in somewhat of a healing period. Now, I, I'm talking as this queen. Like, I've been in somewhat of a healing period. I have cut ties, whether I wanted to or whether it was against my wishes. Nonetheless, I feel like, or it could be like, you know, the energy of someone who just isn't, just wasn't able to give you what you need. You know what I mean? And um, even though it was difficult, and, and I feel like the moon can also represent some uncertainty. The higher event is like, trust yourself. Trust yourself. Trust yourself. And judgment right above that. Trust your faith. Okay. Okay. But it doesn't really answer. I get that why that's out there. But I'm not sure that that answers the king. I think I want to look at this king of pentacles individually. Like just by himself. King of pentacles. Because he sits right over the two of cups. King of wands is right next to it though. Look at this. The knight of pentacles. Wow. That's... that's that's good news <laughs> um you know this night is a slow moving night sometimes much like earth earth signs hmm not our not all i shouldn't have said that because i'm an earth sign and i'm thinking well I'm not that slow moving um but methodically you know what i mean i don't know why i'm saying that this night is first of all it's a lesson in patience it took time to arrive and maybe it needed to take time maybe someone over here needed to free themselves and you know not just free themselves but allow themselves to heal and sometimes I get heal on the go I got to heal as I continue to go and sometimes that is part of the healing nonetheless this night is all about right timing divine timing like i come in at the right time someone asked me a question like that like that shouldn't be love well but this is a soulmate energy and i feel like as a soulmate you know like we make certain plans before we even come to this physical uh place <laughs> before we come to earth we already have some physical, we already have some soul plans, right? And I feel like that's what the Seven of Pentacles is. And I feel like the Knight of Pentacles is bringing one of those Pentacles in. And I feel like 
that pentacle has got to do with the soulmate's energy. So when I say in divine timing or the right timing, that's what I'm talking about. Another way to put it is if we go back and we think about this queen and we think this queen, you know, never makes this cut, never cuts these ties, uh, whether, again, it was against her wishes or, long story short, even if it was against her wishes, it feels like it was. it's still in her benefit. But I feel like if she never would have cut those ties... And then let's say this energy was still coming in. It's met with different type energy. So that's why I feel like the universe <coughs> many times is waiting on us, right? Because what's the point of this coming in when this person is still tied to something You know what I mean? Okay, I think I should just let that be. I feel like the Knight of Pentacles is often our guardian angel. And um, this is talking about something that's coming into your physical world. And again, it's interesting how you have judgment twice, right? A call to the present moment. I think it's really important areas that you be in the present moment. Um, you know, it's funny because that's where our miracles happen. That's where we see the signs. So that's where we can feel the guidance. Okay, I don't know. I don't feel like I'm getting a lot of clarity over these kings, but maybe I'm just meant to leave that up to you. I'm just going to do one more round. Well, I have the Ten of Cups. And then I have the Ten of, Sol Ten of Wands, but it came in reverse, which is good. Don't forget, we saw that Ten of Wands right in the very, very beginning in that other deck. Before I even shuffled them, we saw that Ten of Wands, but now we're seeing it in reverse. We have the Ten of Cups. Now we have the Ten of Cups. This Ten of Wands is in reverse. Page of Cups is in reverse. It's a Nine of Wands, sorry. You know, I feel like... Um, I don't know I just feel like this energy like someone like I feel like partly what I've been learning is that I'm worthy right I'm worthy of this ten of cups I'm worthy of that and that would be like the house of harmony laughter and joy and love doesn't mean there's no issues there's no ups and downs but this is energy of everybody wanting to be there and it's interesting I get this feeling of like Maybe it's something I had to work on, um, knowing that I'm worthy of that. But in the same breath, be, knowing that I'm worthy of that, I can use that as my, I don't know, as my, as energy to move me forward, move me through what may, may ever be choppy up here. Judgments connected right to this page in reverse. And again, I feel like this page in many times talks about self and our self-worth. Some of you, I don't know. I feel like this night, and I hate to say this, but I feel like sometimes I feel like this night feels like it arrives at just the right time. At just the right time. Sometimes in the nick of time is what I meant to say. I 
I feel like uh, don't give up on yourself. Don't give up on your dreams. Don't give up on what can be. Um, let go of the things you cannot control. Especially when it ha relates to love. Love is one of those emotions that you really can't control it. Right? You can't control it. I mean, you can work on it. I just feel like I need to take one more card. Two of Wands. Okay. I feel like this is you putting your past behind you. Clearly. I just feel like this is you putting your past behind you. And listen. This person looking right out at a ship. <coughs> Excuse me. It hasn't reached so shore yet. But there it is. This person is clearly saying yes. I always think the two wands is me saying yes. And I'm not even thinking twice about it. I feel like this is you clearly putting the past where it belongs in the past. I like this energy because I feel it's very adventure, adventuresome. And I feel like it's perfect for you. Sometimes maybe I do need to start at the beginning. Maybe I don't reach that Ten of Pentacles immediately or Ten of Cups immediately. Doesn't mean that it won't come in its time. And maybe if I get it too soon, like I miss those moments, right? That building up to it, I miss that. And yeah, I don't think you want to miss it, miss it because this is a pretty passionate type energy, especially with the Knight of Wands under that. Passionate. Can you handle it? And then I feel like someone's coming towards you. It's interesting because in Pisces, I felt like someone was coming towards him. But in this way, for you, I feel like someone's coming towards you. But in this direction, that may mean from my past coming in. I'm not sure. Um, but I think I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to read health. See what it says. Almost open right to it. This card comes to you as reassurance that your prayers about health and healing have reached heaven above. They may be answered differently than you expect, however. So it's important to stay alert and open to your intuitive feelings, which guide you to action steps. Take them even if they seem illogical or unrelated to your prayers. Mother Mary sends you and your loved ones her blessings. Like her, you can receive and transmit God's magnificent healing love. You may even feel called to conduct healing sessions professionally, and this card assures you that your calling is fully supported by heaven. Well, amen. I feel like... I feel like that verified so much of the reading, and that's why I wait till the end to read it. I know not everyone's still around, but those who stuck around, I hope you felt that because I felt that I, I like I could right away I knew what parts of the reading it was talking about, and then the ten of cups, boom, and the ten of cups. I love you guys. I will see you next time at our table. Bye-bye.